Hey, I'm going into my first ever React interview. Wish me luck. Hey, Nate. Hey. Yeah, we're really happy to have you here today. Hey, yeah, I'm really happy to be here. Uh, really excited about this interview and thank you very much for the opportunity. Oh yeah, no yeah. problem. Can we just get started by, uh, can you explain what the virtual DOM is? Okay, yeah, so React will create a virtual DOM and with that virtual DOM, it's able to reconcile what should be changed in the actual DOM. So React actually keeps uh, virtual DOM in memory and it's just an object and it'll compare the old virtual DOM with the uh, new virtual DOM that it has generated um, and it'll make uh, it'll find the differences and only update the actual DOM with those specific differences. So it makes it a lot faster. Great, great, great job. Yeah. Can you explain to me what JSX is? Okay, yeah. JSX is a extension to the JavaScript language that allows you to write HTML-like code in a JavaScript file. And it allows you to keep your JavaScript logic and your UI in the same file. So React uses that because in React, there's a lot of JavaScript in with the uh, HTML-like uh, code. And then Babel will transpile that uh, JSX into actual JavaScript and JavaScript with uh, a couple functions like uh, create element will actually create a virtual DOM node out of every element in your code. So yeah, it goes like JSX to Babel and then uh, you can actually use some JavaScript out of that. So it's JavaScript with HTML, basically. Okay. okay, okay, great. I sent you a link. Uh, did you happen to get that? Yeah, I see it. All right. Okay. And, okay, a code sandbox link. Yep. Cool. Yeah, I am in the uh, code sandbox. Okay, editor. great. Yeah. yeah, in the instructions.txt, you should see some explanations. Great. Yeah, I'm just going to look over this instructions. It looks like our challenge is to build a simple counter. Cool. Um, there should be a button, and upon clicking this button, a count is increased by one and rendered to the screen. Yeah. Great. So it sounds like I'm building a, just a button, and you click the button, and a number updates by one each time. Yep. Okay. I will go to app.js. The first thing I want to do is actually, I'm going to create a piece of state. So const count uh, set count equals use state. And I'm going to initialize this state with zero because it hasn't, the button hasn't been clicked yet. So const, I need to import use state here. Use state. Oh, not const import use state from react cool yeah um, now I have use state in here and count what I'm going to do is render count out where it says your code here I think this looks like a nice spot just to render that to the screen and underneath count I'm going to put a button and this button will say, click me. Great, we have a button, you can click it, doesn't do anything yet, but I'm going to create a function called handle click. And this function is just going to set the count to count plus one. And now I need to hook that up to the button itself. So on click, and we're going to do a handle, um, handle click. And now when I click this button, it actually should run this function and it will set count to count plus one. Let's see. Yeah, and it's working. So 
one thing I would do is maybe style this up a little bit. I'm not going to do a lot here um, unless that's something you're interested in me doing. But no, that's okay. I'm just going to put a height of 100 view height and display flex and uh, justify content center align items center and I'll put a flex direction of column and I think that looks good we are clicking and it is increasing by one each time if I read the instructions again button you click this button count is increased by one and rendered to the screen yeah I think that is it yeah that's pretty much what we wanted great well Nate it was really nice having you here today you did great well, it was really nice. Uh, this interview was really nice. Thank you very much. I really appreciate the opportunity. Well, we'll be in touch with you. All right. All right. Yeah. Bye. Bye. All right, guys. How did I do? Tell me. Hey, guys. Obviously, that was not a real React interview, but I tried my best to reenact what a real junior level React interview would be like. I hope it was entertaining and kind of made you feel like you were in an interview and what it would really be like. Um, I'm going to ask, could you guys like and subscribe? I got a lot of uh, projects planned and liking and subscribing lets me know that it's worthwhile. Thanks.